Hello there, here is uh, Arthur Major the speaking, hello everybody. Here is a beautiful Sunday morning of almost winter. Uh, the last week was uh, snowing here. I hope it uh, is uh, uh, beautiful also where you live now. Um, I wanted to speak in this video about the dome, the firmament, uh, because in the last video I uh, began to speak about this by saying that it is uh, uh, compulsory, it is needed, necessary to have a, a firmament, a dome, a rigid dome that is blocking the atmosphere inside because uh, uh, if we have a pressurized atmosphere at the pressure of one atmosphere, this is possible because we are in a closed room that is also uh, permitting to have uh, the uh, stratification of uh, the atmosphere. We have uh, a more dense layer in the troposphere and then we have uh, uh, lighter gases in the upper parts of the atmosphere. This is possible only because we have a rigid, solid uh, firmament that is uh, uh, over the flat earth. <coughs> I want to speak uh, about more about the firmament because its shape is uh, also uh, useful to produce uh, gra the gravity force. I know, I know that all flat earthers say that we have no gravity over the flat earth. No, gravity doesn't exist. Okay, <laughs> maybe, but uh, uh, gravity uh, in the Newtonian, in its Newtonian form, I'm agree, doesn't, it doesn't exist, because if not, we should have a globe, the, the, the Earth should be a globe, uh, because uh, uh, this formula is, uh, implies a presence of a radius, okay? Um, a, a field, a gravitational field that is a spheric, but we know that the Earth is flat. But we have to admit the fact that we have a vertical force that is pushing us, that is keeping us pushed against the Earth. So we have to admit the fact that there is a force proportional to our weight, uh, to our masses. So uh, we should say that a gravitational push uh, is uh, existing. Eh? <coughs> so we wonder how it is uh, generated. Uh, we should speak about Tesla because Tesla um, arrived to understand that the Earth has electrical features, electrical characteristics that um, cannot be, uh, that has to be considered. Uh, because, uh, for example, we have a magnetic field, we have uh, uh, the Earth that is electrically charged in comparison with the ionosphere, with the sky. So, we should consider all these aspects and the Tesla arrived to be able to extract energy from the ether. Ether is the mean in which uh, all electromagnetic waves are moving. And uh, he discovered that with a resonant circuit it is possible to extract energy from it. A resonant circuit uh, requires the presence of big capacitors. A capacitor is, is an electrical component uh, made by two, meta <coughs> two metallic plates in uh, which is um, uh, kept, is uh, conserved a certain amount of energy and uh, this energy then is uh, suddenly discharged in uh, all cables. He saw that if the uh, capacitor is big enough and is dis discharged on a cable that has a, a not uh, big enough section, uh, it is possible to produce uh, um, a stress in the ether. So he arrived to study a plant uh, able to extract uh, this energy from the ether and uh, to, uh, this, um, to send this energy in all the world. He began to, to build it. Here I have uh, drawn an image uh, of the plant in construction with uh, this big tower, the Wardenclyffe Tower, here it is uh, in the construction phase, that had a plate uh, um, like this and then a, a sort of dome 
over this. It is very similar to our earth. Isn't it true? Our earth is made like this. And uh, he said that uh, Tesla was saying that uh, the earth is like a capacitor, uh, conserving a lot of uh, energy in it, in the ether over the earth. Uh, um, so, he was uh, saying that it is possible with a capacitor to extract energy. The earth, he was saying, is a capacitor, but also a battery, because it is always self-recharging. And uh, how is this possible? Uh, here is a drawing of a uh, Daniel's battery. Um, we have two semi-cell. Uh, here we have a copper uh, sulfate. Here we have zinc sulfate. Here we have the cathode, the copper cathode. And here we have the zinc anode. And uh, uh, a uh, potassium nitrate uh, connection uh, between uh, the two semicells. When we close the circuit with, uh, for example, a lamp, a light lamp, uh, energy is produced and uh, copper, ion <coughs> <coughs> copper ions are uh, arriving to the cathode that uh, becomes bigger. Uh, zinc ions are, are discharged here, so the zinc anode is consuming is wearing itself. So uh, the battery will uh, work until the anode is uh, uh, completely wor worn out. Um, is it possible that our Earth is also a battery? Okay, in um, current technology, uh, capacitors are not used uh, like batteries because uh, they are able to conserve only a little amount of energy and uh, this energy is um, discharged in a too fast way. But the technology is evolving and they are studying some super capacitors that can be used also like batteries. And uh, we are wondering so if the earth could be a battery and a capacitor. Uh, I suggest you to read uh, in the Bible Hebrews verse, chapter 1 verse 11 Speaking about the events, here is uh, saying the events are uh, this themselves will perish. Okay, the events will perish, but you yourself are to remain uh, continually. And just like an outer garment, they will all grow old. So uh, the Bible is saying that the firmament is consuming. So it could be a battery in which the earth is the cathode, the firmament is the anode, and uh, the battery, the, the earth is a battery, in which the cathode is the iron basin that is uh, sustaining the earth, and uh, the, the anode is the quartz made firmament. Okay, we will see all the electrical characteristics of, of the firmament. Uh, but interesting is also the shape of the firmament that is uh, giving its shape also to the ether uh, contained in, uh, in this uh, sort of tank, uh, reservoir. <coughs> and the dome is rotating and is pushing in rotation, we will see how in uh, future videos, is uh, pushing in rotation also the ether, and uh, this rotation with this uh, shape uh, is producing a vertical ether wind with an acceleration that is uh, uh, 9.81 meters per square second. That is uh, the gravity acceleration. So the firmament with its shape is producing the gravitational force. And the gravitational force is an electrical, uh, is due to the presence of an electrical field. We will see in future videos that electrical fields are also uh, eterons moving, a wind of eterons. So the gravity field is very similar. We will see also that there are some differences, but is very similar to elect an electrical field and can be studied like an electrical field. It is completely vertical. Eh? and uh, uh, this electrical field is an acceleration, g, 
and uh, the uh, potential energy is given by the mass multiplied for g multiplied for the 8 okay so uh, if uh, a, an object is uh, at a certain 8 it possess also a certain amount of potential energy okay thank you very much for uh, following me also in this video if you have not yet sub subscribed please do it uh, have a good uh, sunday bye bye ciao